uh, what's up it's great to see you guys again today in this tutorial we are going to see the artboard option under object menu so here under object menu you can find the artboards so here I have only one artboard with my document and if I want to make another artboard so I need to click at this toolbar over here to create another artboard so I can click here so here on the top toolbar uh, there is a new artboard or you can just click at this plus icon so you can create another artboard so here this option that is available under object menu so here we have this artboard so I can create artboard from my shape so if I'm going to grab this uh, rectangle shape and here I'm going to draw this rectangle shape so I want to convert this into an artboard so I need to go to the object menu here under artboards you have this convert to art Board. so I'm going to click at that so now here I have two artboards you can see that why because here you have to click at this plus icon you have to move this somewhere like this so now here we have two artboards so this is our first artboard and this is the second one so let me undo and here let me show you more amazing things here that you can use this option so I'm going to create one rectangle shape over here let me scale this and I'm going to control C control V so I'm going to put this right here let me just align it so now if I want to create artboard so I'm going to select uh, these two shape here and I'm going to click at the artboards convert to artboards so now here I have three artboard so you have to click at this option for the artboard so I'm going to move the this artboard over here here and also I'm going to move this artboard on the left side so here I have this one we have two and we have this three artboard so this is how you can create artboard from your selected object with this option so here under object menu with the artboard we have this rearrange all artboards so I'm going to click at that so here you can arrange all your artboard so now as you can see here it's going to show me with this window that I have a three artboards here with this document so now if I want to change the layout so if I want to arrange so first I can click on the grade by row so I'm going to select it select this and also here you can set the column value and also you can set the layout order so I'm going to click OK and also here you have the spacing and uh, make sure you check this option because if you don't check this option so along with your artboard when you're going to move so it's not going to uh, move your artwork along with your artboard so make sure you check this one but if you uncheck this so your artwork or object or any design it's not going to move along with your artboard so I'm going to click OK so now according to the grid here is arrange but if I want to rearrange this again so let's try with the second one which is grid by column so I'm going to select that so here you can add the number of rows so I'm going to click OK so now as you can see here it's arranged by rows I think here we have two different so we are going to click on three so now as you can see first one the second one and also we have the third one 
we didn't set the value we only set this for to our port with our document so that's why so when we change that into three so it's now arranged uh, according to this grade by column and also here we have this arrange by rows so if you select that and click ok so now according to uh, this is going to arrange and also make sure you give a spacing something like you need to go with something 40 pixel or 30 and also here we have this arrange by column and also you can change the order you can go with the left layout uh, and also you can go with the right so if you want to go with this left so according to this left is going to order your set the order for the artboard so here i'm going to click ok so now according to this is going to arrange all my artboard and also here we have this fit to art work bonds what's this option for so here let me delete the artboard so i'm going to select this one and delete it here, get off get rid of this one as well so let me hold control plus so we can zoom in so now what i'm going to do here is that uh, i'm going to make this shape over here control c control v so we are going to make another copy so here i'm going to put this shape right here so now i'm going to hold ctrl a to select everything in my artboard so now i'm going to click on the uh, fit to artwork bonds so if i'm going to select this option so as you can see according to the bones of the artwork this artboard is going to fit but if i'm going to just put this artwork here so now what's going to happen is that i'm going to click on the fit to artboard bones so according to this it's going to fit but if i'm going to delete this one and here i'm going to make a shape something like this now if i just go to the object and here on the artboard click on fit to artwork bones so as you can see according to bones of the shape now we have the artboard so we have the same option over here underneath this option which is fit selected artwork so i can just make the artboard according to the artwork so here i am going to just click on the fit selected artwork so according to your uh, artwork uh, the, uh, the artboard is going to fit here but if i'm going to make something like this and here if i just go to the artboards and here click on fit the artboard bones so still there is uh, this option that can help me to fit artboard according to my artwork and if I use the option here and this option fit to selected art also is going to make the artboard according to my artwork here in my Adobe Illustrator. So this is how we can use all the artboards option with object menu. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to use all the options with the uh, object menu and if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel so see you guys in the next video